Hello and welcome back to Minus 16, a podcast where we don't only talk about tech, but also the business of YouTube. And there is plenty for us to be talking about episode 60. And also, before we get going, we had a really good roll on the last one. Loads of new subs. We've almost hit 100 subs. Let's <laughs> go. I know we're about to talk about you and uh, quite the level you're at. So it's a little bit different. Uh, that will be a big milestone. In the background, in the background can I see a play button? Is that what I'm seeing? Just there, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Let's go. Get you. We'll talk about that a little bit later on when yeah. we talk the, the business of YouTube. Uh, but yes, yeah, so thank you for all the, the subs we've had and loads of views on that last episode as well. We'll, we'll keep it going and uh, we'll make sure not to miss a beat. So yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's talk about it. Let loose. Let loose. Yeah. Did you let loose on your wallet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not as badly as you. Yeah. Hold on, I'm just going to turn you off a little bit. Uh, not quite as badly as you. Uh, I only bought the iPad Pro, but I did tick a lot of boxes. So mm. the choice I ended up going for was the one terabyte model uh, in silver with obviously now 16 gigs of RAM as well. Ouch. And uh, yeah, and I went for the nano texture. Now, I kind of know Why? that nano. Well, let, maybe, maybe let's talk it. <laughs> for the channel, for yeah. the channel, okay. because I it's already actually starting to, to work in. I, if I've been, you know exactly what it's like when you buy things now, you don't necessarily buy them as you'd buy them for yourself. If I was buying this as an end user, just for me at home, yeah, I wouldn't have touched, yeah. I wouldn't have touched nano texture at all. No, no. Just put a I screen knew. protector in it. Like a matte, yeah. a matte yes. protector. In it. Well, effectively, it's a seven hundred pound screen protector because, of course, you can't get it for the two fifty six and five twelve. You have to buy the one terabyte, yeah. which was... is six seven hundred pounds more plus the hundred pounds for it. So, um, seven hundred dollars I... or seven hundred pounds here in the UK for yeah. that privilege. I was like, exactly. nah, thanks. <laughs> well, I've been there before, I... though. I kind of figured that it would be good viewing because people are going to be interested to know if I it works, if right. the colours are flat. Or com- I mean, we can do a collab, right? Compare yours with, yeah. See, see, yeah. See. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. Oh god, <laughs> just just not get demonetized, right? That's here. what happens yeah. to you, hundred boys. You forget what to say. Um, <laughs> uh, so that was really the reason that I went for it because I just thought that I, I kind of figured that it would be good views. And yes. yeah, we yeah, can yeah. we It'll can compare. Good. I think I'm going to London next week. Actually, in fact, I know I'm going to mm. London next week because I'm meeting Daniel just before he comes to you. Awesome. Uh, He's what staying day in is London that? on uh, Thursday. He's staying okay. in London. Uh, we haven't quite worked out times yet, but I think I'm going up on Thursday. So when I go up, mm. I thought I might drag him into an Apple store just to really nice. piss him off. <laughs> Unless try, he's banned try, and barred. Try and convert him. Yeah, yeah. He does listen <laughs> um, to this podcast as well. So uh, he said, he does. Did you, you guys know, mention me every now and then. I was like, yeah, yeah. Did you see that I put a tweet up this week? I was sitting watching his content. Why uh, on Sunday evening I was sitting watching Daniel talk about the ecosystem of Samsung? It's, it's just, just he's a, chari- he's he's a charismatic just fella. Yeah, just what can good, I say? Good viewing, isn't it? Yeah. And I was sitting watching it, and then he had not the iPad, the tablet open, and I saw our thumbnail on there. I, mm. and I, I saw screenshot it. Said, when you're sitting at home on a Sunday night into the wine, and, and you suddenly see your own thumbnail. Else's video. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. So, yes, he definitely does watch it because it's on his few history. So, uh, mm. yes, I'll be in London. So, I thought I might take the iPad with me, and mm-hmm. then I could always go into store and kind of just compare it side by side. I am worried. I am mm. worried that it's a mistake. Um, my feeling is though, that with all the work that the Apple engineers have put in to making this tandem OLED, which we'll get into in a little bit, they won't surely have ballsed it up just by putting a, a really I'm, shitty flat. I'm 99% sure that it is a, a niche option, Yeah, but they made it sound like, you know, if you're going to, I mean, it's, it sounds like it's an anti-reflective thing that if, you know, if you want to use your iPad in the sunshine, it might be good for that. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. Gonna, I don't see a lot of iPads in the wild. Maybe maybe it's because it's, it's too reflective. I don't know. Well, again, you'll get this. I thought the other the other good reason, apart from clicks, because I think people, like the amount of comments I've had on the video overnight, people talk, <laughs> that's been a big talking subject, the nano texture. Mm. So it's kind of where you made me think, yeah, okay, I did the right thing for the channel. Because I think people, even if it's to throw stones at me and say, see, you picked wrong, fine, that's good. I, that's I did a very similar thing. I mean, mine was, was, was a proper mistake, though. I was absolutely, I was convinced that WWDC that year, I think it was 2021, when Apple released the M1 iPad Pro, and they had that option, exactly the same tactic, right? To get the 16 gig of RAM, you needed to get the one terabyte storage. Even if you don't need one terabyte to get that option. So I was like, they must be planning something, right? And I think we're still not able to really take advantage of that much RAM on an iPad. No, I mean... Um, apps can take up to 12 gig, I know, since iPadOS 15, but there's very few apps. I mean, Procreate is one of them. 
that actually, you know, the developers actually did something to to use that memory. Um, That's what they featured, wasn't it? That was their big app they were yeah, featuring on the event. I, yeah. I was thinking they must own part of Procreate, right? Because they, they 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 bring them up in every event. And they lent heavy, didn't they? When you ask Procreate, you know, when is the Android version coming? They're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, I, did. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, obviously, I've started using Final Cut, and part of that was looking downstream, thinking that I was going to get the iPad, and yeah. then I want to try. And obviously, you know, good content is to make editing on the M4 silicon. Um, I don't know how different an experience that is. I know you can't use plugins. You could now it's still. Right? Those are coming soon. I mean, I, I I won't rant here, and I, I didn't rant, rant in my right. videos. I think there's there's enough positives about the iPad, to be honest. You know, this time around. Um, but that that aspect of saying that uh, the Final Cut Pro is a serious thing for, I think there's a place for it. I think there's there's a place mm. for people wanting to get into video editing. But once you get to the level, I mean, even if I, if I go back like three years ago when I started doing YouTube, or four years ago, I think that I'd still find it limiting to to, to edit my videos. And I'm only doing like two three layers of B-roll and some music and some sound. I mean, I'm not. It's not like a movie what's um, the what's the limiting factor on it then because obviously i've not tried it yet oh when you when you go to i mean if you've if you've got um, i assume that a lot of video editors that are pros that also have an ipad pro have have the editing nailed on the max mm -hmm. for me and i'm not sure i can't speak for everybody else but for me it would be awesome i've mentioned this before right if i could start the work on the mac and then do some light editing but i'm not expecting to do exactly the same sort of level of editing but do some light editing on the same project mm. at home on the iPad, sitting on the couch, like adding some some little, you know, some final touches, some sound effects, some, you know, some coloring maybe. It'd be awesome to do coloring on the iPad mm. uh, of the video. But that transition between the Mac and the and the iPad, even though now it looks like you can <laughs> yeah, work off of an SSD. SSD. So I'm I'm hoping that there's a there's a workaround, even if it's a workaround to to export the project from mm. the Mac continue it on the iPad and just do that, that kind of the round trip of files mm. moving around. But if that's not easy enough, if that's not flexible, then I, I don't see the point really. Unless, like I said, if you're, if you're someone who's starting out on video editing and you want to learn the skill and you want to learn the, you want to edit some basic videos for, you know, for social media or even short videos for YouTube, mm. it's entirely possible. I know big channels, I mean, uh, Nando Silva, we always mention when it comes to iPad, um, mm. runs an entire channel off of off of an ipad right it is, it is possible mm. i just don't know like i said you know you mentioned plugins like you had me a hello right if i can't have motion vfx yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm i'm done i can't use it i'm i'm sold on those now by the way i am sold on those they're things awesome, the they, they, they they're really awesome. are they i mean they it's, add it's a, a dangerous thing right because you're like <sighs> they're expensive as hell it's a hundred hundred dollars a pop or something it is yeah i mean i've already got Three sets, I think, four sets plus. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to have to buy Final Cut soon, which is another three hundred quid. Yeah, you can get a few uh, from them and try <laughs> to promote them on your channel as well, right? To get to some, but yeah, it's. I feel bad asking for for freebies all the time, so I'd, sometimes I go in there and just buy it because you know I, one yeah. video that you publish and it does well kind of pays for itself, right? Yeah. So yeah. I, I just see it as, as a channel. Yeah, they investment. give me an, aff an affiliate thing, but you, you, what one of the things I love about using them is how simple they are to load into Final Cut. When I used to load plugins for uh, Premiere, it was a right faff about. Whereas mm. here, of course, you just put them into, there's that uh, app, isn't there, that Motion VFX have got. And as soon as you install it on that app, you open up Final Cut and they're just there under titles or something. Yeah. And, and they're so good to use. They are so easy and quick to use. They just make everything look they're polished brilliant. and finished. Yeah. They are brilliant. Yeah, Motion VFX, uh, a massive convert so thank you for the, the heads up on that one mm. anyway we've spoken about my paltry little spend i only bought one tablet you bought two that's what you big boys do see so you hundred club boys you, you go and do the flashing it so anyway yeah. we're, still, gonna we're gonna get to that play button my, my bank account yeah, well, i know it's, it, it still hurts isn't it <laughs> yeah. i almost took a screenshot of my bank statement yesterday when the money finally left um my account mm. uh, no matter what i mean it's it's just under two and a half thousand pounds i've spent yeah on that ipad because i've got the keyboard and the pencil as well. So I've got Pencil Pro, the yeah, new Magic Keyboard. See, I, I, bought, I bought exactly the same, but an extra iPad Air for the right, same so what price. Spec, <laughs> what spec did you get on your um, iPad Pro? Uh, then? Um, two five six Wi-Fi only. Yeah, mm -hmm. just the basic. I mean, I, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of money already. And then with the Air, what did you buy? Um, on that? Bought the cheapest. Yeah. And what's your 
thoughts, because I know you put a video, and I was watching it last night. We both sort of put reaction videos and thoughts up mm. on, on what's happened with the iPad. What's your big hope then when you're, you pick, you pick yours up next Friday, did you tell me? No. You're in store, aren't um, you? Yeah, I'm picking up, uh, I think on Wednesday. I'm not, I don't, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's a bit of a blur, but yeah, I think it's whenever, whenever the first day was, yeah, I think 15th. I went, <laughs> yeah, mine being delivered, I was going to go into Battersea and pick mm. it up, but um, you couldn't get the tablet on the 15th. There was no, no, no option. So I don't know mm. if they didn't have inventory in store. Mm. Uh, yeah, but, that, that was an, I mean, I was there during the event and it was like, you know, come back soon. And as soon as the event was finished, I was able to get it. So I think it's, mm. it's one of the first. Um, yeah, 15th is 15th Next morning. 20. Yeah. I just thought I'd play safe. I did that with the iPhone last mm -hmm. time as well. I just went there and got it. And mm. it was quite, been quite a nice experience. Store. Yeah, it's nice. Um, um, so you've got the Air, the Pro, and you've got the keyboard and pencil, or just the pencil? Yeah, yeah Keyboard yeah. and pencil. Yeah, so I've got, got everything, because I, I, I do want to, to give it a go. I was excited for the for Magic Keyboard, and mm. last time we spoke, I was like, that was the one thing. That, yeah. It's a bit of a letdown, to be honest, you know, when, when they show that there's no place to put the pencil, there's there's no nothing new, really, apart from the row of... Row. Function keys. And some haptic feedbacks and stuff in there. Yeah, trackpad figures. And we've just got that aluminium top plate now. So yeah, with that aluminium plate and the function keys, mm. it makes me think they are trying to push it further towards a desktop experience. You it's think, clear they, right? You think. Well, you think. But it, it's clear they don't. They've had so many years they could have made iPad mm. a desktop experience. They yeah. clearly, at the moment, are still trying to convince us to buy both. Yeah, yeah. But, <sighs> it's, you know, and, and, that's, and that's fine. I think, you know... It, I can understand the business side of it, right? Because it's like, mm. if if we make it too powerful and too capable, why why would you buy a MacBook Air, for example? Right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's uh, well, equally, it's closed, if they put touch screen on a MacBook Air, why would you buy an iPad? I mean, there's obviously perhaps you know, a use case for that. My, and I've been saying this for a while, I think most, and maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, maybe our viewers can can help me understand here, but my perception is people who buy a Mac are not people who are kind of, you know, kind of struggling to, to, to get multiple devices. And, and I think most people who, who have a Mac also have an iPad. I'm not sure if Apple were to kind of make the iPad more powerful, mm -hmm. if that would mean that people would stop buying Macs. I just still don't see, just based on the applications and the, and the power of the MacBook, I just, I still see that a, a case for both to exist together. Um, you know, and whereas Samsung are kind of, they, don't, they, they also do a laptop that don't sell as much as MacBooks, and they also do a tablet that doesn't sell as much as the iPads, right? But they, they don't care. They give you touch screen on the laptop. I think some of them even fold like a tablet, and the tablet itself is, is a laptop. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I, it, there's no other, I mean, when you turn on Samsung Dex on, on the thing, it's like, you, it, it's, a, it's a full fully fledged laptop full fat yeah i mean it, as you know we've said it ad nauseum that i've never used an ipad pro before so next mm. week i'm really looking forward to finding out what the experience is like now at the moment i'm not intending to make one of those videos i switch from, I, from mac to ipad i don't i think that i just can't see that happening the biggest reason no. is file management i, I yeah, love a desktop yeah, i love folders too. on the desktop yeah. and you know i just can't see me making that switch no not and, full -time. and i think that's that's been the case for a while, right? We've got amazing hardware, amazing chipset. I mean, M4 is like incredibly fast, much faster. Uh, you know, it, I think there's a bit of marketing there as well. Right? When, when we look at the underlying tech, it's still a three nanometer chip, maybe just a second generation of that chip. Mm. But um, it doesn't stop it being incredible. And the, the media engine on those things, I mean, even the M2 iPad Pro that I've got here, I've got the 11 inch M2 iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing is still an absolute, I mean, it's a, it's a powerhouse. I was going to, actually returned it the first time I got it. Then I got rid of my M1 iPad Pro and, and kept this just because of the, the smaller size. Mm. But yeah, uh, that flies. And that chip on the M2 iPad Air. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I know, I mean, like, see, on the other hand, you've got 60 hertz on, on the iPad Air, which is a bit of a... Oh, here we go. The 60... Bit of a downer. <laughs> yeah. The 60, the 60 hertz story. Yeah, you're setting fire with that one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, the video is I mean, very popular. I'm not even saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying... You know, I'm I'm trying to keep an open mind with all the stuff because I've I've been burned before, but also mm -hmm. been I've also been impressed before by by Apple products. So I'm kind of saying reserving my criticism to to when I actually use them, compare them, and and see how they. Because you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, there's benchmarks saying that the M4 chip is destroying everything." It's like, okay, mm -hmm. well, you know, 
on a day to day basis, how, how does that actually yeah. translate? Right? Does it make me work faster? Does it actually make me more productive? I think I know the answer to that, but you've got to, the, I think, you know, in my reviews anyway, I'm going to try and just use it as a, yeah. You know, so I, is it, is he really making me work on this thing? That, faster? I'm, I'm, I've, I've, since I've had the MacBook Air, wherever that is, I've switched to writing on that every day. Mm. Um, so that's in Ulysses. And I'm, I'm going to switch to writing on the iPad. But I mean, again, that's hardly taxing. Whether I can do the, yeah. I mean, I get I love writing on the iPad. I actually prefer, even though it's a smaller keyboard to my mm. Tab S9 Ultra keyboard, this one here, the 11-inch iPad Pro, I love typing on this. There's something about this Magic Keyboard that they, you know, they, they do they make nice right. keyboards. Um, yeah, it's just a nice experience. And so I'm hoping that that's the same with the, um, with the new Magic Keyboard. Is you know, yeah. I, I like the fact that it's lighter as well and. Yeah, you know, that, that, there's a lot of good stuff about that. There's things that I, I, I'm a little bit, you know, okay, it's still iPad OS and still, yeah, you know, we can only can think get two apps something. at the same time or something, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm going obviously, I'm, I've never used Stage Manager on a Mac, so I'm looking forward to trying to see what Stage Manager is about mm. and seeing what it's like to have split screen with that 13 inch screen, seeing how meaningfully I can work. Because, uh, I mean, again, like you, I've probably used a number of apps the same every day, you know, yeah. Final Cut, Ulysses, WordPress, mm. Lightroom, Photoshop, are kind of my, I suppose, my daily regulars that I'll yeah. always open, yeah. always be using. Uh, now, I'm quite... I'm, I'm looking quite, forward to... I know you like Lightshop on the iPad, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And you also like on the Samsung, I don't you mean you uh, Lightroom? Like, like, sorry, yeah. yes, Lightroom, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lightshop. Yeah, Photoshop, <laughs> like, photo, yeah. photo room. It's new, it's new one come from Adobe, Lightshop, yeah. <laughs> Talking about hybrids, I've just created one. Um, yeah. Yes, Lightroom. Because um, obviously, like you, I use that a lot. Lightroom as an app is fantastic. I mean, it works. I mean, it's great, especially when you've got a pencil. Yeah, it's great uh, on any Again, device. I've yeah, never app. used a stylus. I know you've used a stylus on, on the Samsung. Mm. Um, so the whole thing to me is going to be a, a new experience. Oh, yeah. Editing real. photos is really cool um, with, with anything that's not, you know, that's, that can give you that finer detail. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I don't know about the, the thing, you know, for me with the, um, with the pencil is, is similar to, to anything, right? With, with mm. Apple, there's an extra cost, right? I mean, it's, the iPad is already quite expensive. Um, then you have to add a hundred, was it 130 quid? For the pen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yes. 350 for the keyboard. That's the one. 350 quid for the keyboard. That one stung. But mm. I know it's the most necessary accessory to go with it. I know you can get third parties, yeah. but you've said that it is the best keyboard. It, it is. Uh, uh, that was, in, in fact, you know, when I first upgraded my, I, I had the original iPad Pro, the 2015 version, I think it was. Mm. So, I don't know. It, the gold, I think it was a gold color. Um, and I only upgraded that because, well, the screen was getting on a little bit, but I only upgraded that. I skipped the 2018, um, but it was mostly because of the keyboard. I know I wanted the, now the folio was nice that the had the head with the original one, but yeah, the magic keyboard was the was the thing that I wanted to 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 use the iPad with. I think and, and it is worth it, but um Yeah, I mean I think for me, because I've never had one, mm. I'm more excited about this than the iPhone. Because it's something brand new to me, something new to learn, play with, get used to. I can finally talk about the iPad OS because I've never been able to before. Yeah. And you know, so I'm really looking forward to getting my feet under the table with that. And then there's been a couple of things that people seem to get out of bed about over the last couple of days, the fact that the iPad Air is heavier than the iPad Pro. And I, I, I'm just in the middle of writing a, a story at the moment. And I mm. kind of, my, I know you, you've watched the video I did, and it's my take on it is Air simply means not Pro. It's not meant to be a super, those days of it being super light have gone when it was just a MacBook Air. Once yeah. I brought Air over to the tablets, mm. everything changed. And now clearly their opinion is, right, you've got MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. You've got iPad Air, iPad Pro. I, don't, yeah. I see where they're going. I don't know. I think I think initially this the, the, there was probably you know I kind of vaguely remember it being you know all about the fact that it was ultra light. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, but you know when we say heavier, how, how much heavier? I don't know. I haven't seen this. This uh, uh, grams. Yes, yeah, it's, like, it's yeah, ounces. I, I, I was looking at yeah. it just before we came on. It's it's virtually you know imperceivable they are about the same weight and there was a funny th the the because the ipad air that you're you get an 11 or the 13 uh 13 air and 13 pro because yeah. that 13 air from what i can see is basically the old ipad pro 12.9 ipad pro yeah. yeah yeah it's exactly the same screen yeah. size exactly the same screen size and all you're losing of course is oled 
Face ID and yeah. uh, 120, which we know you're not. <laughs> uh, Again, I'm, I'm uh, honestly, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm keeping an open mind here, but I have a, I have a feeling that this will be, you know, this could make or break, right? Especially, it depends on the reviews as well, right? If people start slating it because it's bad, and mm. it, it really depends. If you're scrolling and if you notice it that is clunky and it's not nice, mm. then it could it could break it. On the other hand, if people don't notice it and it's still a nice experience. It could. I. I have a feeling this could be the, the, the most selling, the best selling iPad like ever. I've, I've just got to that point. I'm writing saying that for 95 percent of the people, surely mm. the iPad Air has got to be the one to buy. Yeah. The, the question be. for me is this one, the M2 iPad Pro mm -hmm. versus the M2 iPad Air. Yeah. The, between those two, that might be a good comparison to make. I'm looking forward to seeing how that, how that kind of compares. But in theory, they should be virtually identical, shouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if <laughs> yeah. the GPU is different on, on the on yeah. the air or whatever, but the the display might be better on this. Of course, they've done their normal binning um, on mm. the two fifty six and five twelve. As you know, you get a, I think it's one less uh, efficiency core. Yeah. Um, and but again, I I, I kind of see where they're going with that. They're, they're saying, look, if you want all the bells and whistles, go one terabyte, two terabyte. They are the proest pro machines. It's it, Apple, right? At the end yeah. of the day, I I still think it's it's. I don't want to say it's a scam because it's not. It's just. It's just a, a tactic. Initially, I actually thought initially I thought it was a scam because it's like uh, I misread the fact that you do have an anti-reflecting coating on all displays. Yeah. Uh, but I initially I thought, okay, the iPad Air is coming to, with this non-reflective non coating. Of course, that's different to the nano texture glass. Mm -hmm. That's a complete. That's even more anti-reflective. But yeah, I mean, I can imagine someone who doesn't know too much about tech and stuff and reading that and go, yeah, I get that on the iPad Air anyway. So. Yeah, got it thrown in. I am, I am worried about the nano texture. It's just I'm backing. I mean, I know at the back, at the back of my mind, if I get it and I really hate it, then I will use the 14-day exchange and I'll swap it out to get one. I, I almost would recommend you exchange it because, you know, it's like, unless you're using the iPad outside, that's the, I think in the event they even showed it, right? This is for people who are using it in direct sunlight. Mm. Uh, if you're not going to use it outside, I would probably say, first of all, storage, one terabyte on an iPad, unless you have that much local oh, I know it's overkill. Whatever. I know it's overkill. Yeah, it, it, it's, I would say just use the, you know, one of these tiny, tiny SSDs um, mm. attached to it by a Thunderbolt, mm. right? And bobs your ankle. I mean, I did <laughs> and think you saved a few hundred quid. Yeah, I mean, I, I've you know, I've never ever returned anything yet. And if I did, it wouldn't be doing that horrible thing that so many do. You know, you buy it, and review it, return it. It would genuinely be to swap it I out. I don't have a problem with that. I, honestly, I I think you're reviewing. You're kind of doing doing a service, right? If you, if you don't want to keep it for yourself, I mean, at least you you experienced it and you produced a video. Know, but uh, yeah, making um, content, hopefully helping. I, I don't have a problem if you don't disclaim that. That uh, no, like, like mm. you know, it's like, but. Um, and or, or you do another video say, why am I returning, right? Whatever. But is it as good as gold when you return it? As it works really well, does it? I don't remember last. I mean, I actually say I should do I should do it more, right? Because um, they are good as, un, unless you miss the date. And I've had I missed the date first uh, with the MacBook Air, I think once. Mm -hmm. um, but they they were nice when I emailed them. Customer support with Apple, right? Is like is second to none. I missed it yeah. and I explained to them, look, I was just too busy. And I could prove to them that, you know, you can see the battery cycles. I haven't used it a lot. Mm. Um, they're like, okay, no problem. You know, they no, that's, they, they still the accepted odd, it. The odd times I've dealt with them customer-wise, they, they customer service has been really, yeah, really good. It's yeah, the thing I mean, that, you know, if, if Samsung had the same customer service, it would be really hard to beat them for as an option. Mm. Right now, I'd, I'd say it's still easy to recommend Apple for, for someone who who cares about that, that support. Mm. Uh, but from a functionality uh, capability perspective I'd, I, there's so much you can do like actually you know from a productivity perspective uh, with other tablets not just samsung but, and, and it's easy for it would be easy for apple to fix this it would uh, multi-window isn't it stage manager it's in the right direction it's going there i think they're allowing quite a few things now from last time i checked you know that you can allow it connected to even an 8k tv now um yeah, because I can connect it to external displays, can't I? I can use an external camera as well. It's super easy now, and you can attach a DSLR camera to it. it mm. There's, you know, they're going in the right direction. They're making it more flexible, but mm. it's, they're still kind of forcing you to do it the way they want you to do it. Um, 
so yeah, it's, it's not that it's not far off being for me anyway good enough mm. I, i'm seeing my comment section that people are saying i want mac os or dual boot on the ipad i don't know i, I think that's a bridge too far and i don't think i mean if you're that keen on having mac os then you gotta get a macbook yeah <laughs> just, I, I, as we said I, it dilutes yeah. it too much well there's no there's no win that i can see for them in making ipad os mac os it just doesn't it, then you suddenly no, you say you got the, yeah. the macbook and the They're ipad two different use cases but, yeah. but, but i, I think, but i think there are people on the other side of, of that coin that says you know uh I, ipad os is good enough for uh, for the ipad it's like mm, no mm. I, I disagree with that because i think there's a lot of potential, right? There's a lot of power. The iPad, the tablet experience can be improved. And I if, mean, part, yeah. Yeah, I mean, also part of that M4 Apple Silicon, when I was doing all the research for that video I made, apparently it's color management for these displays is the way it's supposed to make the zones so equal and so even throughout the whole use experience. It's supposed to be really fantastic. Their yeah, color management. yeah, I do remember the M1 iPad Pro when it first came out, there's this thing called blooming that happens mm -hmm. with um, LED displays. It's just mm -hmm. a normal thing. You gain any any LED display. But that was the, the thing that people were making That's a right. lot of noise about. Um, but that would only happen when you were watching something like complete darkness. Darkness, yeah. But it's, you know, that happens on any any display of that cost. So there was nothing wrong with it, basically. Mm. And, and it is beautiful. Uh, that, that mini LED display on the M1 iPad Pro. Yeah, it's, I do miss it sometimes, you know, even though I've got the M2 iPad Pro, uh, I do miss that display on the M1. But yeah, I, I think th there's, yeah, th that displays are nice. The, the nano stuff, I'd, yeah, that was, that was an easy decision for me to like, okay, I, I, yeah. I think I know where you're going with it because it's like there's not going to be many people who bought that one. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm thinking. So I think there will be a lot of people curious to know how it actually, well, like, know, how does it look? Um, yeah, in, genuinely, in I was thinking, I was honestly thinking that it would help people with a buying decision if there's people, and that's what these channels would kind of be about, right? So I was thinking if people are thinking of buying hmm. an iPad with nano texture, I can sort of say some, uh, you know, I've tried it, but yeah. it's not I mean, for me, it's going back. Almost by accident, I think Apple played this right into, uh, you know, they're not sponsoring this podcast or whatever, but I, I wish. I, I'm a user, but paper like, uh, <laughs> yeah. are, oh, yeah. must be absolutely rubbing their hands right now because you could achieve exactly this. Well, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. I'll find out in a few days, but, uh, a similar effect, right? It's a, it's a, it's a non reflective cover, mm -hmm. it will, but in addition to that, it will protect your screen and it will. And it, and it gives you the, the, the haptic feedback of writing on paper. So I, they, you know, they must be quite happy with, instead of spending $700 getting storage yeah. that you don't need, get this protector. But yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that's the other thing, of course, that I'm now worried about is that the, apparently they're very, very temperamental nano texture screens. And I've got to, whether it's a scam or I don't know, but I'm supposed to only use the microfiber cloth that comes with the iPad. Okay. Apparently, well, you get free, are, it's free. There are... <laughs> Edged, yeah. I mean, yeah. Apple are fantastic at making things like you know, make something. That the only thing I'm hoping is that they they've not just simply taken the nanotext from the XDR from the Pro XDR display. They've actually re-engineered the glass. So I'm hoping, really hoping, hmm. that Apple have pulled something out and their engineers have somehow made it so it's really because of course the tablet is supposed to be touched. You're supposed yeah. to use the Apple Pencil with it. You're supposed to use your hand on it. Hmm. They know that. I can't believe they would have dropped a ball like that. Surely. Uh, Wednesday yeah. will know. Yeah, we'll find out, right? I, think, I, I am looking forward to, and I don't know when that's coming out, but because Samsung did something great with their S24 Ultra display, mm. they partnered with Corning, obviously, the, you know, they made the Gorilla Glass. Mm. Um, yeah, what they've done on that display, if they do the same on the Tab S10 Ultra or the S10 range, whenever that comes out, that, yeah, that's going to be awesome because it's, it's, it's brilliant on the phone. I mean, initially I was like, the colors are a bit washed out, they fixed that. They fixed it, you said, yeah, software fixed it, yeah. It's the best display on any handheld device I've ever used. So if, to have that on a massive, you know, yeah, on a massive tablet, it'll be, yeah, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. And sort of just wrapping up, really, I mean, I know there was this, there kind of a couple of software things. Final Cut's got a couple of new toys with the multicam feature on it, uh, Logic. I don't I don't ever see me switching to Logic. I'm really happy with Audition. It, it works really well for podcasts. Yeah. I think Logic is much better for musicians. I spent some time trying it. Um, but even even uh, I've got a few users commenting that you know that are audio engineers and musicians uh, that like it's again same 
a use case as the editor, right? If you're an experienced editor, you likely already have a Mac mm. or, or a PC. Mm. Um, same with the, with the music stuff, right? If, if, if you're producing music already, um, you already have something quite powerful doing that. Um, but if you're starting out, I mean, even just getting the M1 iPad, oh, sorry, the M2 iPad Air mm. and, and getting the subscription to, uh, to Logic or Final Cut to learn stuff, I think that's a, yeah, that's a great way of, of not spending a lot of money on the skill, learning the skill, and then eventually upgrade it to a Mac or a PC to, to do that. So that, that's to me that the only reason I would use those apps, um, mm. but uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there, there's, there are pros out there that are happily producing high quality stuff on, on the iPad. And I'm, I'm not sure. Now, I've been around a lot of musicians in my time and not one of them has ever edited on an iPad. They I've got don't to pull out an, an iPad out of the back. <laughs> yeah, here's, here's, watch this thing that I just created. Yeah, it's, exactly it's usually come to my studio and have yeah. a look at this massive table I've got here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Where they've got Pro Tools or whatever running. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but just on the event itself, I what I really liked was the short format. That 35 minutes, give us what we need, give us the details, keep the faff and padding to a minimum. I mean, it's going to be the total. There was, some, there was still some faffing, but yeah, it was, it was better to, to keep 40 it 40 minutes, though, top to bottom, whereas WWDC, awesome. you know, you know that's going to be a long one. It actually helped me with creating videos. You know, I batch record two videos that uh, that evening, I think, and then edited in, in, the, in the following few days. Mm. Yeah, and used because most of the apples on footage because yeah. why not? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I did sort of guess that one when I was right. I, th I thought it would be a short event, and it was. I say WWDC is going to be the complete opposite. That is going to be long this year. Yeah, so yeah. much to get through. It's going to be at least two hours, and that's going to seem tedious at times. There's going to be a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, and it goes work. over a whole week, right? So they announce yeah. stuff throughout the week. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I won't hold my breath, though, because I've been there before. You know, I've been bitten with, with that M1 iPad Pro or never. That, I've been scarred for life on that one. <laughs> so, yeah, because it, it was like... It was, I think it was a two and a half grand on the iPad with 16 gig at the time. I don't know how much it is now if you, if you get that one terabyte. How much is it? It's two, yes, two and a half. Uh, no, yeah. it can't be quite two and a half because my whole that, bill's that two and a half. The, yeah, that includes, yeah, I yeah. think it must be about 2,000. Yeah, it's yeah, insane. It must be. Insane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it I think it was two and a half thousand dollars maybe at the time. I don't know. But anyway, the it, I didn't need that that much memory and hoping for WWDC was a mistake and that that's what I've learned. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, no, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, you know, at least I bought the cheapest. And, uh, yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm still, apart from when I'm editing, either audio or video, that's the time I use the, the MacBook uh, Pro that I'm working off now. Mm. Other than that, I'm on the MacBook Air the whole time. I'm loving it, absolutely loving that machine. The mm. keyboard, I, honestly, the keyboard is so lovely mm. to use. And I'm really, really enjoying writing on it. I seem to write quick on it as well. And believe me, I need all the help I can get with my There's typing something skills. something about Apple's keyboards. I mean, there was one version, I think it was the Butterfly keyboard. Butterfly, or whatever. yeah. Well, it was a bad one. Yeah. But even going back to the OG MacBook Pros, you know, the, the mm. silver keyboard, I still have like a 17-inch laptop, which is like wow. insane. Jesus. That keyboard yeah. was delicious. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, just moving, before we move on to the YouTube side of the pod, um, mm. <laughs> one of those silly, I guess I could use the word woke, people have been moaning, I don't have seen it, there's been threads and forms moaning about that uh, machine compressor part. Oh, what? Because you know when they showed, he said it's going to be, we're, go we're going to crush it, and then they went to the machine compressor. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot there of sensitive heat. artists out there, yes. right? Oh, so you you're killing the camera our, and whatever. Yeah, and you're killing our profession, and you're crushing our live music, and... Uh, I can I'm see I can see how the messaging could turn around, but yeah. at, at the time when I watched it, I just thought, no, I yeah. thought nothing of it. I just thought because no, because they're it, just making everything thin. Apple. They're bringing yeah. everything out there, all of the things you use yeah. into nothing. They crushed and everything, and, and it was to do with the crushing yeah. theme. Uh, right, we're gonna. Cr I think the, the wording said, was, we're not gonna just. Uh, yeah, that's term said. We're, gonna, we're not just gonna do something. We're gonna crush it. Yeah, that yeah, was and then you transition the limits. Yeah, we're not yeah. gonna just. Yeah, it's something about crushing the limits. And so yeah, I I, I got the, the theme, but yes. yeah, I can, I can also there's, see how there's a lot of unhappy in today's and world. It's just like because oh, sculptures gosh, were being want... crushed, and you know paintings were being crushed, and there was a key, there was an old game machine. Crush my was... dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Mine were crushed years ago, mate. Honestly. <laughs> um, so yes, that's that's kind of enough. We keep getting these bubbles. I meant to switch these bubbles because off. I keep doing this. Yeah, um, I, I know where to turn it off now, and I forgot to tell you. But anyway, yeah, we, we, but yeah, we'll do it's that. like grow up, grow, grow, grow a set. It's, like, yeah, it's exactly. just an ad. It's, yeah, yeah it they was probably did break some stuff. There's like, I 
did feel a little bit like, oh my gosh, those lenses. A lot of those will have been set pieces as well. They won't have gone and got maybe. an actual trumpet, you know. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, anyway. it, it was, um, I, thought, I thought it was fine. Yeah. Right. I'm gagging to know about your play button. And that sounds awful. I mean, the one from YouTube. But I, <laughs> I mean, we're close, but, you know, yeah, there's boundaries. I'll, I'll bring it over. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. It's um, yeah, it's, it's here. So, is it heavy? What is it? Is it a chunky fella? Uh, it's not heavy. No, it's it's pretty it's substantial. Uh, I don't know. I want to say maybe four hundred grams, five hundred grams. And how does but it turn nice. up? Do you, do you know it's coming? Yeah, do they say we've dispatched it, or yeah, you have to go in and order it first and make sure that you qualify. Do you pay for it? Yeah, you have to pay for it. Right. Uh, no, the 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 one there's one that you, you pay if you want additional versions. Right. So that one they send um, you. I think you pay for it anyway. No, I think you do pay $150 or something. I don't remember. I was too excited. I was like, yeah, whatever. Just bring it to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so it arrived, um, I don't know, three weeks after you, you reached That's it. It's fairly quick then. Yeah, they don't let you know what's happening. After you apply, it's like, where's my email confirming? Not, nothing. Then then it turns up. Yeah. Uh, so that's cool. I let my son open it and, you know, it comes with a nice letter as well. And you can actually get a metal version of the letter if you want to. I just got the normal paper on because I don't want to frame a letter. But yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. And, um, that must almost seem like actual confirmation of what you've done, that it's not a dream, that it's not just numbers on the screen. No, it's exactly. actually... I, I feel like just putting on a chain and uh, <laughs> <laughs> around my neck. Sort of so solid crew walking down the street, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it is it's absolute confirmation. Has, has there still been growth on the channel since? Is it continuing to grow? Yeah, I've got 1,300 since then, so it's slow. Not, not the fastest uh, growing at all. This week's been... Awesome. Um, mm. The last few days is like going back to, you know, uh, Techtober sort of style. But I know it, it, it will, at the minute I upload something that's not topical, it will, it will, yeah, it will be. I, yeah. I think even the iPad reviews, because there'll be so many. Yeah, I've, I've been here before. <laughs> it's like yeah, the, I, the pre stuff, you know, like after the event, this, this period of time is perfect for videos because well, people that, want yeah, to know more about it, right? That's. I, I'm denied, and because it was a quick event, like you said, mm. I, I sat here and I, I sat, came to the studio and sat and watched it, and I couldn't have been more of an Apple fanboy. I watched it on Apple TV mm. on my iMac. Yeah, didn't even use YouTube. I was a proper Apple boy. But it finished nice and early, and I thought, okay, I could crack out a video this evening. I just, I, and I thought, no, I actually want to try and find out some information that we yeah. didn't really take on board. And I knew there was going to be a lot. I, I wrote my script before the event, most more, yeah. uh, like sixty percent. <laughs> I kind of knew what was coming. Yeah. And then yeah. Um, there were no surprises really. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to take a bit of time and kind of yeah. pull back the hood and find out some details that maybe other people like the, the Apple logo being a thermal sink. I thought that was quite an interesting find. I, I missed the logo. that completely. Yeah. Clearly I was yeah. not paying attention. No, they did. It was, that was a lot of reading. I did a lot of research. Oh, I on that. Okay. Yeah. Right. That wasn't in it. It was a lot of reading I was doing. I, I spent hours afterwards just going through paperwork, trying to find stuff that maybe was slightly different. And I, we've talked about this before about that rush to try and get something out straight away. Or actually, no, just take a little bit of time. Yeah. yeah. I don't know your video has done exceptionally well. Mine's yeah, but I missed done. a day. I missed a whole day. It, it could be a, maybe, a, you know, double, double what it did. Because yesterday, in one day, it did 50. 50,000 views mm. in 24 hours. So I, I'm kind of gutted in a way that I missed the, the first day, but at the same time, it was a nice evening. And I, you know, I just thought I, I was knackered. It was like, I just yeah, went out I, I, for a meal. My, my family is like, you know, sometimes, like I said, and, and it worked out, right? The video did well still, yeah. even though yeah. I missed a day. So. I mean, I, I got it out just a little bit later. I had a, a, a bit of an issue with uploading and also my upload speed at home is not particularly good. Um, but it's done 12 or so in the first 18 awesome. hours of me. Yeah, so it's going yeah. in the right direction. Yeah, and yours, I, I, I watched it and I could see that, you know, there's quite a lot quite a lot of thought into it and it's well structured. structured. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's good it's, stuff. It's just, I think it's that case, you know, I just, I've learned a little bit of not necessarily rushing to be the first. Mm. I know you, <laughs> I know you put a comment on this saying at one minute, whatever. And I said, a tablet's just a tablet. Actually, it wasn't, um, it was because people come oh, straight no, I felt that. I felt that. I, I forgot what you said exactly, but it was something around people are moaning that, uh, yeah, a tablet's just a tablet. Yeah. <laughs> kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I, it, it kind of works. I, yeah. That was my point. Because there's been a couple of reviews I've watched and they, they've mm. been saying, oh, it still looks like an iPad. Well, mm. what are you going to do? It's yeah. a 12 inch piece of glass. How can yeah. you make it un -iPad? There's been some, some, some welcome changes that we've been asking for a long time, right? The camera in the right place. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know about the battery life. Did they say anything about 10 hours. Still 10 hours. <laughs> okay. So uh, 10 hours. But they said something and... about 
the chip being better, much more efficient. So if what so we got is battery not. Well, we got a thinner. We got a thinner iPad. Well, if they kept the iPad the same size, you could have the same size battery and even longer battery. What they've decided to do is oh, make the iPad thinner, thinner battery, smaller okay. battery, but still giving t- t- ten hours because of M4, which is odd because somebody in the comments today was saying this is a pro. Why didn't they leave it a little bit thicker and give us more battery life? Which actually- there's so many comments like that too. I I never. I mean, and this is coming from people like artists and whatever. It's like. I never, I never asked for a thinner iPad. I, I'm, exactly yeah. that. Exactly that. So. I've never, ever heard somebody say, I, you know, I buy it in a flash if I only a little bit thinner. And also, let's face it, Apple's history with thin products ain't too good. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Ben stuff, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see yeah. some of those videos. But oh, I think... Um, bound to. I do, I do think there's something that they, they pride themselves and that, that's what the brand is known for, right? Which is kind of sleek design. Mm. So I think it makes sense from a branding perspective whether we needed it or not is is irrelevant well yeah i mean it was i mean the point i made on on the video was these adapters you Mm. know they're actually now thicker than the ipad Mm. (laughs) so you can't you know it's already going to sit slightly proud it's going to look weird yeah exactly so i mean they're kind of at the point now where you know they've got to stop i mean five millimeters off five millimeters i mean the tab s9 ultra is a huge slab and it's it's 5.5 yeah that's even bigger isn't it yes yeah, it's, it's wider and it's, it's a different aspect ratio I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what it is exactly but yeah it's um it's it's thin very thin the ipad is four millimeters thinner wow yeah oh, so it's crazy. Right, yeah um and the, the other thing that kind of proven i don't know you know i take a lot of time normally over thumbnails and I, that's normally part of my monday i'll shoot all of the b-roll shots and then yeah. try and craft the thumbnail and da, 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 da. last night's thumbnail i did in under 10 minutes because Same. obviously nobody i did it under two minutes yeah i went to the app, apple's website and yeah. screenshotted it there you go yeah exactly so it just goes to show because you're obviously you know we're, we're both picking on something that's really hot at the moment when it's topical it, you want you, you do you want to yeah just do something that is catchy like the title being catchy and the image not to be completely messy yeah, yeah. um but i think when it's when it's hot when it's a hot topic you just you just need it you know what's your click through on that video at the moment um not sure what it, it started really it started like 20 percent mm. um the big one today's mm. i haven't had a chance I've looked to look at today's one today's one's about the 60 hertz is it yeah and it's already at 10k views um which is insane like, my channel hasn't seen this sort of performance since techtober mm. um yeah the, the it's eight percent at the moment so no it's, similar to mine yeah. it's not amazing but it's, it's picking up like a thousand views an hour yep yeah. So yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it's a short short uh, life, right? It's not gonna it's not gonna do that. I mean, the the fifty k one is is dying now. But um, what I'd like to do sometimes is not to make it completely just about the event. So I was kind of sorry, uh, not just regurgitating exactly what they said, but giving my opinion as well, right? Because I think mm. just in a hope that people would see that video as more than just an event reaction. <laughs> but I want to kind of not do that because th- those. They do well as well, but they definitely don't no, they add don't any, either. any value later. And my thought on that was mm. uh, I could just come off the event and parrot fashion repeat what everyone's just watched. Well, why is that interesting? And I thought I just needed to try and find something to give people yeah, yeah. another perspective. Exactly. I haven't done a full-up video. I didn't batch record, which is a good idea of yours. I only did that the, one video The only reason week. I did that was because I was running out of time. And I was mm. like, I can either you know, stay up all night and, and finish one video Mm. Or I can spend a bit extra on the scripting and the recording on the first night, mm. and then do it two videos. Edits, and, yeah. and it, it, it works right because now it's both videos are doing okay. Yeah. So next week I haven't decided whether to try and I'm not going to unboxing because I think they've sort of been and done it, and there's people that do it better anyway. I, I film the unboxing. Yeah, and I'll, I'll film it to in, keep it. Yeah. In all the videos later, I will include bits of the unboxing because it's cool. It's interesting, right? When when you need B roll, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put a bit of unboxing there, like a, a time lapse or whatever. But um, I don't, and I don't think I ever done an unboxing. Maybe I've I might done do, for the PlayStation Five, and that tanked. I might do like, a short yeah. on it. Actually, thinking on it, because I'm, I'm going to do a short after we finish today. And people uh, love I'm, unboxing, though. That's one of the things on U- YouTube is weird, right? People like watching you take something out of the box. <laughs> A game with <laughs> I just can't find it. I don't can't find the creative juices of doing it. I, no, I've seen people do it like in the field or something or do something cool about the unboxing that's different. Yeah. But yeah, even yeah. then, it's like, really, it's just me taking the iPad out of a box. Yeah, I, 
I don't think I've got it in my heart. I can't. I definitely want to make a full. Like you say, I'll definitely will film when I unbox it because it's always good to have in the yeah. can. But I'm not. So no, I'm not sure how soon to make. I'd, I'd love to get a video out about it next week. Yeah. But I won't have much time to get my hands in it. But equally, that might be part of the appeal of people watching it. But very first thoughts, okay, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I've got, maybe so. a short. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to do maybe a short. A short like a what do they call them? ASMR, ASMR style short. Yeah. No, yeah. no speaking, just just a noise. Just lovely shots. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably do something like that, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing an unboxing video. Um, yeah, not doing that. Um, and there was something I was going to try and explain away between you and I. I've been keen to get our podcast on YouTube podcasts on YouTube Music, and it sounds super easy. And you notice why we got an audio podcast in between every video podcast, and it was doing my head in. So I know, Saturday, as a viewer of our own channel, yeah, yeah. I get home sometimes and I see the thumbnail I'm like. That's weird. Why is it's it just the logo yeah, and it's just exactly. audio? It's like, that's, so it doesn't it's, look it's great. sorted now, but I spent ages on it. So last Saturday, I actually had a day when I didn't have much to do. So I thought, right, well, that's bugging me. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. So I did what, tried to search for answers, could not find it. And the way it kind of works, you go to your, you can either try and upload through your podcast host. We use mm. Podbean. Yeah. That didn't work. That took me to a landing page on YouTube that had no further clicks. Right. So then I went through YouTube which is pretty straightforward. You put in the email address that's associated with your podcast, da, 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 da. And then it gets confusing because you have to create a playlist. In So in Minus 16 now, there is just a podcast playlist. You create the playlist first. You send the RSS feed to the playlist. Mm -hmm. Bear with. Yes. Then what happens, <laughs> it then goes into that playlist. Don't as fall the audio, yeah. <laughs> exactly, as the audio podcast, but then it immediately posts it as a video to the main channel. And no matter what I did, no matter how many times I took it down, re-uploaded it, I could not work it out. And the golden answer is, all you have to do, if, if you're doing this, go to your YouTube studio and unlist the video version. Oh, right, right, right. It's still still making it public. It's still, it, yeah, you can't, no, so not public, you in. have to unlist it. If you make it, uh, not public it doesn't work it takes down the audio as well that's why yeah. i couldn't work out but i'm listing yeah. it i don't know if it's the right way but it's worked because now we've got just two episodes i'm bombarded i just thought from now on in we'll just put it up yeah, onto. Yeah. but yeah. now it's right it does actually work on oh i think i lost my camera you have lost your camera i'm talking yeah. to a black screen at the moment but yeah i don't know if why it... okay let's crack crack on i mean we're nearly at the end right yeah yeah okay let's crack on um, so uh, yeah, it, uh, I was I'm a, like a dog with a, with a bone when I get something like I know it should work, <laughs> and I was determined to get it to work, and it took some time. But yeah, so if you're trying to, and I couldn't find any, I'm going to put a tag in our podcast about this because I could not find anybody to explain on YouTube about what I needed to know, and I I, I went I must have spent hours on it Saturday, honestly, I really did, and then fine, I just I've got nothing to lose, and yeah, and just um, make sure that you take untick that box. Mm. And, and it's unlisted, and now it's fine. So now it works. Well done. Yeah. It's done, yes. Yeah, it's now served. Because it, it was a little bit annoying. I can imagine that it was probably annoying some people. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, it was annoying me. And I just couldn't work out what the fiddly to do with it. So I managed to, I kept calm. And I, so I had the time to do it. And it was, you know, you get those things on your list. You think, right, mm. I'm going to get around to it. I'm just glad I managed to get it sorted. So now we're, we're kind of everywhere. And I say that we actually did see some good numbers and good growth on the last episode yeah, as well. Yeah, no, that's so. good, yeah. Good. Thank, I'll, I'll thank open, you for subscribing. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'll be putting plenty of iPad pictures in the thumbnail as well. You can believe that. <laughs> we're going to carry on riding this way because the iPad is, is going to cause some interest for the next couple of weeks for sure as we begin to get our hands on it and begin to use it. Um, there's going to be loads of content made on it. Comparisons, um, all yeah. sorts. Yeah. Good. So um, was there anything else youtube that... Who's crossing your boat at the moment that you wanted to mention? Uh, no, no, apart from just extremely busy with stuff. Right? Too, many, too many videos to make, not enough time, the usual. I am, I am not going to mention the brand, but I spoke to you about a brand earlier this week, and mm. I thought people might be interested to know. There was somebody that we both had dealings with, and they found me last weekend and started emailing me quite a lot, mm. quite regularly. Yeah. And they wanted a dedicated video for a product I wasn't sure whether it would get well, I was pretty convinced it wouldn't get many views. Mm. And they wanted a dedicated video, but just to give me an affiliate link and the product. Yeah. And I kept saying, look, if you've got a bit of budget, I'll be reasonable. I'm not a huge channel. I'll be reasonable. Yeah. But, you know, I've got to keep the lights on. And he mm. kept emailing, but it was quite clear he wanted to make a video. And they, I know you then said... to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's I know you, you gave well. me the heads up. Like same, you said, same thing with me. You yeah. said, mate, they were pain. Yeah. So... 
Yeah, yeah. I, was now talking to, I was talking about this with someone. Uh, his name is uh, Ruben. He's got a, uh, an amazing channel called Topic Ruben for creating. I think I've seen him on the chat. Yeah. He's on the group, isn't he? Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. And we were talking about this because he's actually making a video about this whole thing. And he wanted to kind of to chat about it. And, and I said, yeah, there are occasions when a creator, and I, and I do that still today, may see value in the relationship. Mm -hmm. that it, and it doesn't need to involve money, right? So because for the long term uh, in that relationship is you'll be maybe, you know, seen as an ambassador for the brand or you build a true partnership, right? So when there's a, when there's a new product, they might give you tips on reviewing it. Uh, so I'm, I'm working on Garmin with that, you know, there's no mm -hmm. secret that and I've done four or five videos before reaching out to them. So look, my audience clearly, and I myself love your yeah, products. Like, you know, is yeah. there something that we can do? So slowly but surely we're getting there. Maybe with Samsung, we're on the verge of doing something. So yeah, but it takes time. So I think there mm. are occasions when money isn't the thing that you, you're after. It's, it's, it's a mutual, there's a benefit in you associating with a brand. Mm. But there are cases when, especially when it's a startup brand or a small, like sometimes you get these Chinese small brands that, that want, the product might be amazing, right? But they're coming to us to say, you know, we want to promote on your channel. We want to reach your, your audience, sell it to them. Mm. But, you know, we're not going to give you anything apart from a freebie. And it's like, okay, mm. well, that, that's not how I run my business. The sad truth of this, and maybe this is due to inexperience or due to people who are doing this just as a hobby, right? As a challenge mm. that we've got in this industry, that some people will say yes to, to those, right? So I, yeah, I'll, I'll do the video for you. Um, and sometimes bigger channels, I saw one this week, I won't mention who it is mm. obviously, but mm. a channel with 50,000 subscribers, that's a significant, that's a, that's a big channel for me, in my mind anyway, um, saying to a brand, he replied to all, <laughs> it's like, that's mistake number one, Oops. the brand sent an email copying everybody, right? And then they responded to all saying, don't worry about payment, by the way, the brand was actually offering to pay, uh, in the, in their reach out email. <laughs> They said, don't worry about payment. I'm happy with just doing the video for, for the products. Like, and this is not, you know, not talking about a brand that you would recognize. It's a mm. tiny little thing. It's mm. like, okay. And that is the problem, right? If a creator of that ilk is saying yes to a freebie, it makes it's our lives really hard. It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. Um, equally, and we talked about this before, and I don't know if we've got time for this. But, no, absolutely, yeah. But there's another, the end, the other end of the spectrum, and this mm. week I've been really annoyed about, I should have mentioned this, because this is on my mind. You know that buying views thing? Yes. yes, uh, yes. It happen, it's happening, you know, it's rampant on YouTube, mm. especially at the, at the high end, like over a million subs channels. Um, this week I saw something that caught my eye, right? I, I keep getting, people send me this stuff all the time because they know I've, I've been public about this. And I said, look, I've tried it. I've paid a hundred dollars, a hundred pounds for two weeks. And this is what happened. It clearly fake views. Right. Um, and subs mm. this, this channel, um, it was a particular video that caught my eye because the brand HP, uh, approached me and said, you know, uh, let's work together. And they asked me for so much detail. I mean, we spent, I spent hours producing like, uh, uh, a proposal for them, right? So, so this, you know, it doesn't just happen, right? So it's like we were serious and I was like, okay, it's from a Brazilian channel anyway. In the end, they pulled out right, last week and said, oh, you know, we, we're not, not doing this anymore. No reason, like, okay, you know, stuff happens. But then I see the very product that they were reaching out to me for on these big channels. And when I looked at the stats and people were actually sending it to me, it's like, you know, lo and behold, these are paid views. Half a million views with 39, I think it was 39 <laughs> comments or 29 comments. It's like that really, really yeah. pissed me off. So I, yeah. I, I, I didn't call anyone out and I'm never, I'm never going to do that because I no, think everyone, I mean, they're doing this as a business model is their, their prerogative, right? I'm, I'm not fair play to them. So when they get to that level, if all they're interested in making money, then, you know, why, why, why not? If mm. the system, I don't hate, what do they say? Hate the play, hate the system, I hate the game. Not play, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, it still annoys me, right? Because the brands, I'd, I'm not sure, you know, if, if, if the brand is investing in a channel and the channel is doing this, how are they seeing any return or are they just interested? And I think that's the answer, right? They're just interested in seeing the numbers and then they report the numbers upwards. Look, 
that those marketing dollars that you put in this channel, look at the views paid, paid off. Look at half a million views. Mm. Is that where the conversation ends, or is there someone gonna ever gonna go half a million views with thirty nine comments? Yeah, what's the interaction? Yeah, how many of those people? I mean, <laughs> even if they sold thirty nine laptops, I'm yeah, I'm sure that's not gonna be an, a, a good ROI. Yeah. So um, that that is really pissing me off and I wish YouTube would do something about it and I wish more brands would start to look at be smarter are, are we getting value for money here um, and you know most of the cases it will be a PR agency that then contracts a marketing agency that then contracts a smaller agency and then the creator right so there's too many layers mm -hmm. and I think that people are just caring about the numbers mm -hmm. the the downside of it all is it, it's becoming a bit of a pay-to-play <laughs> just as I went dark again, <laughs> it's becoming a pay-to-play system and I hate it. Yeah, I mean, the sad thing is though, you know, you're saying hope YouTube do something about it because YouTube are almost guilty of, because, you know, your, your experiment proved it. You paid YouTube and YouTube gave you bought views and subs. So, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. It's, yeah. They are the, the player and the poacher and the gamekeeper, aren't they? They're exactly. doing exactly the same. Yeah, th again, you know, in their mind, they're getting... Their, their marketing dollars yeah end of story right yeah anyway like, I, I think something definitely needs to happen my camera is overheating i think so um let's okay <laughs> let's call it a day <laughs> we call this one off yet but we've yeah. got a black screen there anyway we've just about covered everything we needed to cover anyhow um we'll be back in a couple of weeks time with ipad stories for you so make sure if you're not subbed yet get subbed uh alex i hope your camera cools down yeah i, I just <laughs> oh, realized yeah. i was recording the not recording but i was um i had 120 fps on all along so uh, ouch it did That'll well it. for it did well for an hour, but That'll yeah, it. it's gonna it's gonna burn. Sony needs a little bit of rest now, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, enjoy your weekend, enjoy the sun, and we'll be back with you with another minus sixteen in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks for Cheers. watching, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Take Cheers. it easy. Bye. Bye.